right, here's my 2014 Mitsubishi Mirage seat here. Um, today I'm gonna try and mount uh, an armrest to it. Not sure how well this is gonna work out, but we'll give her anyways. Um, I'll start out by removing the seat. I'm not gonna bother trying to do it in the car. And to remove the seat, it's two, uh, they're 14 mil bolts on the front. 14 or, uh, what is it, 916. It's uh, two 12 mil bolts to hold the seat track in, one there and one there. As well, there should be three connectors under here. Oh, mind all the dirt. Oh, this one's got three, four, sorry. One, two, three, four, four. Seat position sensor right there. And the yellow connector back there, that's the airbag connector for the side airbag in the seat. And the black one, can't remember. The white one isn't normally in the cars I work on, so that's probably for the heated seat. Because this one has heated seats. So yeah, undo those three connectors. And then you gotta unclip it way up uh, there. So, I'll save you all that stuff. I'll just get this done. And... Okay, well, seat's out. Yeah. Well, I didn't bother showing how to get the headrest out, but to remove it, push it on that, and then lift it up. All right, well, a little tricky to get that out, but just start on the one corner here and kind of pry it up. It might be easier if you pull this corner piece of trim off here, whoops. But uh, yeah, once you get a little bit pulled apart, then, uh, oh, it just went back right back together. All right. Oh, that's relatively easy. So yeah, this goes in there and then it, it clips into this little channel. It kind of flips around. Oh yeah, there's another, they're clipped up and up here too. Well, I guess I could just slice this with a razor to get in there. Okay, so that's what I'll do. As long as I don't cut through the wires, then we're good. So somewhere. Okay, Not that one. Don't need that. Oh, hello. There's another plug right here. That makes uh, makes things easier. Okay, good. As long as I don't lose that. Alrighty, so then there's a zipper. With this kind of inside out unzips from the inside. That makes no sense. So that's where we're at here. Somewhere around here, I'm gonna drill a hole. There's really no structure in these seats. It's kind of, you got your foam and you got your metal. One spring in the bottom, if I remember right, all it is is a metal plate. Well, I'll put a picture of a damaged one that 
Got a pretzel in an accident. Yeah, not a lot of not a lot of meat in these things. Not sure if you can see that, but that's pretty fugly looking, but it's uh I think it'll work for what I want it to do. I might cover it in something super glossy rubber it is pretty soft which is good it's not just solid plastic so kind of glue that on there something like that and the bracket on it's really huge so this will be way stronger than the seat so yeah i'll just find out where where it wants to mount kind of go from there this is how it comes apart. So this Allen had a little bolt, bolts, threads into there, and that just kind of keeps it from walking out of the cheesy, but that's what it is. Okay, so back to step one, where I should have started. I'm trying to just eyeball it here on the passenger side. Um, trying to figure out where the armrest is on the door. I'm gonna see, call that 10 inches from the seat bottom to the, uh, well, 10, 10 and a half. So then, go back here. Oh, zoom way out. Try and get this line up here. And could go up a hair, something like that. Yeah, around that ballpark. And yeah, so nothing really lines up. I'm gonna drill a couple new holes here and mount it with some big bolts and yeah. Then once that's done, yeah, I'll just have to cut a hole in the fabric and a hole in the foam for that uh, stud to stick out and, and then give her. Oh, well, I guess I missed all that. Um, yeah, I just hogged out the lower hole there. Doesn't have to be dead on. This thing is somewhat adjustable. So we will mount this up now. Bolts are gonna go in cockeyed, but that's what it is. The only not great thing is, is this is right where the, the spring goes through. Nip that spring off or try and bend it out of the way. Or just stay stuck on the back side. It's kind of looking like a good idea right now. Let's see. Here. I don't know I should. Well, I don't know. I already got this in there. so. Oh, really need a washer here? Okay, well, I got the bolts bolted on. That makes a lot of sense, good English. And uh, now I gotta poke a hole in the foam for the pokey bit. So, I'm gonna say, let's try and pull that tight. Get it roughly where I want it. not quite where it needs to be. I think I cut a little too far back. Well, in fact, I know I cut it a little too far back. We'll just use the whole stretcher. Well, if anything, it'll uh, a little bit more cushion and cushion. So it could be worse. Actually, maybe I'll do this, give it a little more. Okay. 
That's more better ish. Yeah. This is uh, this fine tuning part is where I'm. Uh, I don't like. So I think I'll get that zipper zipped back up, get all this buttoned up, and then just kind of slice an X in there. And call it, uh, call it good enough for me. And this one. Stuff this back in the hole. Okay, so there we are. Let's go in there. One for you. Okay, two connectors in the hole. We'll plug in the seat heater. where we started almost zipper so zip it zip it back up rather we might as well give her all the way so almost done yeah we did it that's gonna get tucked in Probably should have pulled that plastic off there. Okay, so I think I clipped it in. Oh, just like that. Okay, well that's not so bad. I think that's how it goes. Okay, so that's where we're at there. Got a hole in the seat. Now hopefully this goes on far enough that I can get that uh, that bolt in. But I can't see where it is. We oh, yeah, are really gonna have to push on that. Gonna be a snug fit. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Well, I finally got it. Uh, got that uh, screw there started. Finishing touch. There. It looks like a tractor armrest. It's horrible. Yep. That's the way I like it. Also, sometimes there's uh, people that think that, well, you gotta unhook your battery when you unhook an airbag, otherwise it'll explode and your head will blow off. Okay, so yeah, with that out of the way. Um, if you do have your airbag or part of the system unplugged and you turn your key on, you can have an airbag light. And there's a pretty good chance you're not going to be able to clear it yourself, so you need to take it to someone with a scan tool. That is capable. You unplug it, take that white clip, slide it back, and it just pulls right out. And as you slide it, it releases that, uh, that clip. So, meeny, meeny, miny. Everything just unclips. That one is a little trickier because the 
is on the top, but it is what it is. It's not so bad. Not, uh... Sorry, I'm a shitty camera person. One day I'll grow up and uh, figure out how to use a GoPro properly. Still haven't figured that out because it sucks in the dark, so using a phone. So anyways, where are we here? Yeah, let's see back in. What I do with these, it's got studs sticking out of the floor with nuts that mount on them. Where are we? Um, it's got wiggle room with those. So I do those last. What you wanna do on these yeah. cars. Line the back two up, get them started. Oh yeah, and if you don't have that one down all the way, the seat will hit it. But Okay, good enough. Let's go for a drive. Get airbags, and get engine lights, and all sorts of crazy warnings. But... No, everything's good. All right. So here it is uh, in the car. It's flipped up all the way. I think it's still, yeah, it doesn't stick out past the seat. So that's good. When it's level, it seems. Pretty much the same height as the uh, as the armrest in the door, but the, but the one in the door is so far forward it's kind of useless. And yeah, you can adjust this up and down, and, but yeah, all the adjustments. It's not really in the way of the seatbelt. There's plenty of room around it. If you're uh, a little wider than me, then you might you might kind of. It does kind of angle in, but the seat's so flimsy, you can just probably adjust as needed, bend it. So yeah, so far it seems okay. This will probably make it a lot nicer to drive. I'm always, well, all my, our other vehicles have an armrest on the right side, so. Been missing it in this car and the last one I had for, well, three years now I've been driving it without one, so. Took well, far under an hour to do, so I think it's going to be worth it. So, thanks for watching.